Hey guys, it's Lisa. So I'm here at Disneyland today, but we have some very important business to take care of today, okay? Very important. We have to go into DCA because San Francisco, well, okay, first off, we're gonna get the full San Francisco at the end of August, but before then, they are unveiling new restaurants. They're getting all makeovers and stuff with new food. So we have new things to explore today. Then I also kind of just want to go around and maybe get some food around DCA, some nice treats, maybe look at merch. We shall see. But anyway, it's gonna be a fun little day. So come along with me, let's hang out, and let's head inside to DCA. Can I just say also it is a scorcher today. Yes, I feel very warm. Very warm. That's okay. I will try not to melt, but there's some frozen stuff over at San Francisco, so maybe that will help cool me off. What is a good like what do Southern Bells call it when they get glowy? You know, is there a euphemism for sweaty? I don't know, but today is one of those days, okay? I am a glowy princess, let's just say that. And anyway, let's head inside. Oh, by the way, also, I just wanna mention this. The other reason why I feel like a glowy princess is because I left an SD card at home and I had to run to go find one in this heat. And it was, it was an adventure. We're gonna, we're gonna call it an adventure that made me into a glowy princess. Anyway, let's head inside of DCA. <laughs> I was hoping that we might be able to catch Oswald over here. He sometimes meets and greets in this area, but it just occurred to me right now that the reason why he's not out is because it's sweltering hot and he cannot in his little, you know, like black velvet bunny suit, his black velvet fur, bunny fur. <laughs> Actually, oh my God, wait, that just reminded me of the Velveteen Rabbit. <gasps> no, I don't want to think about that story. It makes me so sad. It is the saddest story. Okay, no, we can't. Why did I just think about that? Ooh, the trolley. Okay, let's think happy thoughts. Happy trolley thoughts instead. I don't know why I did this to myself, but I just looked up the Velveteen Rabbit on Wikipedia and it states that it chronicles the story of a stuffed rabbit's desire to become real through the love of his owner. I, okay, if you know the way that the story ends, it is truly heartbreaking and, well, it's not heartbreaking, but it's like bittersweet and poignant. And why did they make us read that as children? That was like, uh, it sticks with me to this day, okay? Anyway, let's think happy thoughts. Um, trolley? Trolley treats, maybe? <laughs> They're making churro toffee right now with trolley treats. You can see right there, this is the toffee. That is the delicious churro cinnamon sugar fantastic and you know what's really good about the churros here well the churro toffee is that one can last you a really long time because like you can eat just like a quarter at a time and it feels good enough although i could eat the whole thing but they are very sweet and it would make me feel very ill in the parking lot grizzly river run is looking very refreshing right now don't you think also very loud look at the beautiful color of that water I know they dye it to be that color, but it's still beautiful. And then right there is the grizzly bear, not a wolf, grizzly bear. I spot some ducks right over there. This is a very good duck viewing area, by the way. And I like that about it. Also the front of the castle, you get some very cute duck butt moments in front of the castle. But anyway, okay, I just wanted to say, we are here, we are at San Francisco. And one of my favorite things about this little makeover is all of the signage. I think they did such a fun job with all of the signage. It all looks really cool. There's also signage over there and then also just all the facades. So we're gonna go explore, go see what is new, what's been revealed, and maybe also we shall find some ducks along the way. The shade of this tree right now is very welcome. Very, very welcome. Ooh, and there's a cool breeze. We enjoy this. But this is the way that you have to get into San Francisco, like curving around this way because the bridge well, I was about to say, as you can see, not as you can see, but yes, you can see it over there. It's not quite complete. And we have more of the signage over here. Don't you love that? Look, it's a little Baymax. Oh, and then they're, they're gonna finish up Boudin, which is gonna be, well, not Boudin, but the Pacific Wharf Cafe is gonna be Aunt Cass's, and it looks like there's gonna be amazing food there, but probably not until the end of August. Look, I have my free sample of bread, and I am inside of the Boudin Bakery Tour because you really do have to take every single ounce of air conditioning that you possibly can, even if it's just walking for 10 feet. This is the best part. This is when they make the Mickey loves of bread come to life. Gently brushing, you know, 
and then she's gonna peel all the dough away from around and then there's two little eyes and a tiny little nose that she pops right on top Rita's Turbine Blenders. Okay, so this is one of the locations that got a little makeover and a slightly updated menu. When I say slight, I mean like very, very, very slight. Also the makeover, I don't know. I would grade this as not an amazing makeover because it looks exactly the same as it used to. I, as a lover of makeovers and makeover scenes, makeover montages in movies, like I am a big fan. I would rate this makeover like not high. Not high at all. In fact, it kind of reminds me, okay, listen, this might be a random reference, but I know, like, every Simpsons episode for, like, a few years, like, a small sliver of years, and there was one episode where Lisa makes a doll called Lisa Lionheart, and then Malibu Stacy tries to compete, and so it's just Malibu Stacy, but they add a hat, and everyone goes crazy for it, you know, even though it's the same thing, but just with a hat. And they're like, but it's a hat. Anyway, okay, it's probably too deep of a reference. But it's not going to stop us from getting a turbine blender from Rita. Wait, don't be fooled. She's just a regular Malibu Stacy with a stupid cheap hat. This is the updated menu for Rita's turbine blenders. So the non-alcoholic drinks, they now come with a peach gummy ring. That sounds kind of nice, actually. And then we also have the garlic and pinwheel chips mix. That is new. And then the margaritas are the same but now they just add a little hockey stick to it. It has a hat. Yes, she has a hat. Um, except my hat is in really bad shape. Like it's in sad shape. Can you see how melted it is? It's that hot. Also, I can't imagine that it's gonna taste that good with like, you know, the pocky end being in. It's gonna be maybe soggy. That's okay. Let me tell you what this is. So this is Rita's Grand Strawberry Margarita. It has gold tequila and a splash of orange liqueur. And it was a little bit more melted when I got it. Well, no, I meant to say it's a little, it was a little bit more frozen, right? Now it's melted. It is completely melted. That's okay. It's not gonna affect the way it tastes. Actually, maybe it would a little bit. Let's actually, let's see how the Pocky stick is. Oh no, this, it looks not fun. Oh no, it's salty because it touched the salt on the rim. And that's really mushy. Okay. It's fine. This is the exact same thing that Rita's used to have. Like, all the alcoholic drinks are the same, but now they have a pocky stick. They all have a hat. So, I'll put that to the side. And let's taste this. It is completely not frozen anymore. Tastes pretty good. This is actually kind of nice. Okay, first off, not super alcoholic, right? Like, all the Disney drinks are very, very light on the liquor. Like, you don't really have to worry about that. But the flavor is nice. It has, like, a lot of tartness in it, and... Pretty nice. I don't have a lot of words to say other than I'm hot, and I want to enjoy this. So, cheers with my pocky stick. The next drink is a non-alcoholic drink, and it's kind of like a slurpy type of thing, but they're all called turbine twirlers. They have four different flavors. There's wild cherry, lemon lime, strawberry, and then I got blue raspberry. And then they also all come with peach gummy rings, but mine fell to the bottom, which is kind of sad. Also, this got so melted. It's only been about seven minutes since I ordered this. Like, it's been less than 10 minutes and it's already liquid. We were gonna expect that, right? But it's a good thing I have a straw so I can you know, I can get to the gummy rings. That's kind of what I was most excited for. Ooh, it's actually still frozen at the top. Okay, let's taste it. Okay, I don't know why I was tasting that as if it was gonna taste like anything other than what we already know what this tastes like. It tastes like a blue raspberry Slurpee. Mine tastes like a melted one, but you know, that's fine. Let me see if I can get fish out one of the, oh no, it looks so, it doesn't look good, okay? It doesn't look very, it, this is not, this is not right. Oh, but I got one. It's kind of like a game, right? We'll think of it as like a carnival game. You have to fish them out, but here we go. Oh, no, mm -mm. That was really slimy. Okay, there was something about it being at the bottom and like soaking in all of the slushiness that it made the outside so slimy, but it tastes good. Tastes like a peach gummy ring. 
but I don't know the sliminess is a little bit off-putting anyway I think this would be really good to get in the summer just like right now and then if you just drink it right away and you don't wait seven minutes like I did then it would be a nice frozen drink for you to enjoy this summer but tell me why I still ate all the gummy rings I don't know. I can't explain my actions sometimes. I really can't. They still were slimy, but they were tasty. They had a nice peach flavor, you know? But yes, this one is totally average. It's exactly what you think it is. It's nothing special. The margarita is actually my preferred of the two. And is it like an amazing margarita? No, it's not the best margarita I've ever had, but it's a good theme park margarita, you know, like some margarita mix type of margarita. And plus, if you come to Disneyland and you want to get a drink, I feel like this is a fun one to get. If you want something to go with your drink while you're at Rita's, you can also get this chip mix. So it has some Mexican pinwheel chips and some garlic chips. They look very nicely seasoned and pretty tasty. So let's give them a try. So let's see. Okay, so we have a garlic chip. Ooh, this one has a lot of seasoning. I'm gonna go with this one and then also a pinwheel. Oh wait, let's try this one first. It's pretty nice. Okay, so it has a good amount of seasoning, just like you can see right here. It has like a nice spicy flavor to it. And then it also has like a little bit of lime, like some citrus type of flavor going on. But I would say that these have like the teensiest amount of spice. If you don't like spice, I think this would probably bother you just a little bit. Let's try a pinwheel. Ooh, okay, the other thing, I love how crispy these are. That one was perfectly crisp. It was like light, it was airy and crunchy. So let's try this one. Ooh, that one was really salty. The bite I just got was pretty salty, but the savoriness of this is really nice too. And they're, okay, the more that I touch them, they're like more oily, my fingers feel. So yes, they are kind of greasy, but these are really nice. These are like a good bar snack, you know? And you can also, it comes in a little paper bag, so you can put it, I like rip mine apart, but you could put it in your backpack, fold it back up. And out of these two, I actually like the garlic chips more just because they have like a better texture. They have all these like air bubbles in them which gives it like a lighter, airier feel. But yes, definitely oily. There's nothing better than a Disneyland trash can, am I right? Except for maybe a new Disneyland trash can. So this one is San Francisco. Very cool. I don't remember if they had this the last time that I was here. Maybe I just didn't notice, but here they are. Very exciting. Our next stop, Cocina Cucamonga. And I have to say, in terms of makeover scores, okay, the sign gets like a not high rating, right? But the rest of it is definitely made up just a little bit different than before, you know, decorated. Look, we have decorations right up there. Very cool, right up there. I mean, everything else is looking like very, very similar. But look, we have some very industrial looking signage. Yes. So at least it, it looks a little bit better than Rita's, right? The menu at Cocina Cucamonga is basically the same, like almost completely the same. We still have the quesadilla tacos that everybody loves, including me. And then I also really love the vegan option, the tacos dorados de papa, those are really good. And then the new food item is the San Francisco style street corn. There's also a new cocktail. I see it like all the way up there. It's not pictured, but we also have a melon cocktail that's been added to the menu. So I ordered two things from Cocina Cucamonga and I think I made a mistake, but I'll show you what the mistake was in a second. So anyway, the first thing that I got, this is the San Francisco style street corn. So this is brand new. This has togarashi mayonnaise, queso fresco, furikake, and bonita flakes, and it's served with spiced wheat chicharrones. And then we also get a little bit of lime, which looks pretty good. And then I will tell you what the problem is, I guess now. So the problem is, is that I don't like Bonita Flakes and I don't like Furikake and I, if you have a similar taste palette to me, I don't typically like seafood and I don't like anything that's overly fishy. Like I don't like the taste of seaweed or nori. And honestly, I'm kind of sad because like I've always wanted to like, like sushi and stuff like that and I'm kind of bummed. But yes, if you have a similar taste palette to me, then you will already know that this is not on the list of things that you would get because it's gonna be a little bit fishy, but you know what? I'm still gonna try it because it's mine. So here we go. I 
can confirm 100% that that is not for me. Now, the Togarashi mayonnaise, I can taste that. That is really nice. It has like, it's not spicy, but it's like spiced, you know what I mean? Like seasoned and everything. And then the corn itself is nice and fresh and it tastes fantastic, but I'm just sad. It's the other ingredients that I don't care for that kind of ruin it for me and I'm sad about it. But I don't think it should stop you from getting it if you're interested in it because I think it's probably pretty good. I'm just, I'm sad that I don't have somebody here that would enjoy this so that they could give a real review. So I'm sorry. I know I sound like an ignorant fool, right? But yeah, I, I, yeah. <laughs> I did order something else. So this is a plant-based option over at Cocina Cucamonga. These are the Tacos Dorados de Papa. They're crispy potato tacos topped with cabbage slaw, dairy-free crema, and tomatillo salsa. And I have had these many times in the past as I've had the quesadilla tacos many times, but I decided to go with these. I don't know why. I thought maybe they would be lighter, but you know, for how hot it is today. But really, when you think about it, a fried taco, maybe not, but still, these are spectacular. I've had these tacos so many times in the past and when you get them just the tacos themselves they are a good size for a snack but when you add either the rice or beans that they serve over at Cocina Cucamonga you can make it more of like a full-fledged meal. The other thing I would say is get a fork because you want to make sure to be able to get all those toppings because the toppings are really what makes this like a good thing but anyway I haven't had these in like a year probably maybe more but I'm gonna take a bite and let's see if they are as good as I remember. Yep, those are still fantastic. Really, really good. So the reason why I like these are all of the toppings and the taco itself, the potatoes in the middle are nice and soft and then they kind of complement the outside because the taco shell is super crispy. And then the toppings are fantastic. They're very fresh tasting. And then the dairy-free crema is amazing. The only thing I think that would be even better, I love a good, like I love sour cream. I love it. Like one of my favorite foods. I also love dairy-free sour cream. Trader Joe's has a really good one if you're looking for one. And this is just like, you know, if there was a dollop of like some sour cream or some guacamole, but the, the salsa, like the salsa verde is nice and bright and super citrusy and really good. So get these, even if you like meat, I think you would still like this. Oh my gosh, okay, I'm sorry that it is so loud right now, but I needed air conditioning so bad, so I came over to the Animation Academy area. Like I said, I'm so sorry, it's so loud, but I also heard the Casey Jr. Circus Train song just now. And so I felt like it was meant to be, like I was meant to be here right now because I love that song and I love that ride. Honestly, it can be kind of chaotic in this area, but I do like the air conditioning. So we are going to tolerate it, you know? It's no great moments with Mr. Lincoln. But anyway, Animation Academy. These are all of the characters that you can draw today. And Mirabelle would be the one that we would draw. Although I'm kind of sad, we barely, we just missed Donald Duck. And also look, there's a Disney 100 exclusive. I would love to do that one. Or Oswald. Oswald would be a good one. Uh, my name is Sarah. I'm a Disney artist here. I'm going to be teaching you how to draw Mirabelle from Disney's Encanto in this class. <gasps> Yay! I'm so glad. Uh, you can draw in other designs to represent the different members of her family. Usually she has little rain clouds for Tia Peppa. Uh, she's got little dumbbells for Luisa. And she's got flowers for... <laughs> Isabella, yeah, exactly. So we're seeing her shoulders, so we'll see the top of her dress up here. A little bit of shading over here, just to showcase that, uh, you know, the curl is coming forward in space. That air conditioning break was perfect. It was exquisite. It felt delicious. Like, truly, I could have just, like, drank it in. It felt so good. And also, the Animation Academy is just, like, fun. You kind of lose yourself in it. But do you want to see? I have my drawing. So we drew Mirabelle. She's upside down. <laughs> Here we go. Yes, we drew Mirabelle and it was so fun because the, I, so this one was like an advanced one and I think that the other ones are usually like a little bit more basic, right? Like if you were to draw Oswald, it's kind of more simple. This one was a little bit longer, which I loved because I was like, um, yes, more air conditioning, please. Also, I don't know, something about the Animation Academy is so fun. Like I kind of lose myself when I'm sitting there and you get really into it and you forget that you're at Disneyland almost. Like, I don't know, I have so much fun with it. So if you've never done it, do it. First for the air conditioning, second just for like the creativeness. It just feels fun. <laughs> 
Well, since we're right here, right next to Schmoozies, or shall I say Schmoozies, which is the way that I always say it in my head. I don't know, there's something about the way that that font looks that it, it feels like it needs to be said that way. I, it's just a thing. And I don't know if you have things like this also, but like for me, there's certain words that I say in my head in a very specific way, but I would never say it out loud in that way. For instance, miniature. In my head, sometimes I say miniature. I don't know why, it just is. Maybe you also do those things. But anyway, schmoozies. Okay, so they have a brave little Taylor shake that's like a Mickey shake and everything. It looks so cute, but it's a very particular flavor. It's like blueberry honey or something like that. So I've just like never gotten it. And no, I'm not getting it today. <laughs> but I am gonna get something else because I feel like today it just like needs, I like a frozen treat, something, something cold, you know? <laughs> Here's the options over here at schmoozies or schmoozies <laughs> but anyway okay so they do have some coffee i wouldn't say it's epic i don't know if i would personally call it epic but these smoothies are all fantastic Ooh, mango madness okay i might get that they also always have a seasonal lemonade and i think right now oh mango not a smoothie i think i might get that oh my gosh the avocados are also incredible so good they had a peppermint avocado i want to say it was last christmas or the christmas before it was incredible but yes i I'm gonna decide, what am I gonna get? No brave little Taylor shake for me today. I will get it eventually. I must have it, it looks so cute, but I instead got a tried and true favorite. So this is the Mango Nata Smoothie. It's mangoes, bananas, and peaches blended with pineapple and guava juices. And then it's finished with sweet chamoy, chili lime seasoning, and a mango chili lollipop. Okay, so it's been a little bit of time between when I filmed that clip and now because I, well, it's like melted, but it's also still cold and like, it's so good. This is so good. This is exactly what I needed. Oh no, wait, oh dang it. I lost the lollipop. The lollipop is definitely in there. Dang, I really like that part of this. Like the lollipop is fantastic. And then you just, you know, you get to enjoy it for a super long amount of time. You know, you get to have the smoothie and then the lollipop, but oh no, that's a bummer. It's lost in there that's okay but yes there's not a lot to say about this it's exactly what i read off is what this is like that's those are the flavors you know what i mean but very good also huge look this thing is very gigantic and oh it tastes so good i can really taste the peaches i think that's why i like it so much i love the flavor peaches and this is really good but anyway i'm sad no lollipop for me i guess I mean, I could try to dig the lollipop out, but I think it's a lost cause. I'm not doing that, you know? <laughs> but the other thing I was gonna say, definitely get a spoon if you're gonna get this because you want all those fresh mango chunks. It's part of the reason why this is so good. stop and it's an important stop so I came over to the Disneyland side of things and by the way it has cooled down immensely because the sun has started to go down oh and also look great moments with Mr. Lincoln is having its golden hour time it always looks really good with you know the sun hitting it and all but anyway this very important stop is to go get the special popcorn bucket that came out today and it looks so cute and I am not a collector of the popcorn buckets like whatsoever but this one is adorable and I'm getting it for a friend and it's just it makes me want to like get it but I'm also like no I should not it's a slippery slope these popcorn buckets are <laughs> isn't this the coolest popcorn bucket it is the coolest one ever and the cutest so first off conductor Mickey is looking adorable and then it has like all these details so the Disneyland logo is right there and then all of these separate pieces and the wheels actually move let's see if I can show you yeah you get the gist right and then there is a whistle i'll show you the whistle in a second but then the strap is also really cool it says disneyland railroad but yeah this is so adorable oh and then to get the popcorn out let's see it's kind of hard with one hand to get the popcorn in there you put it in there and it has to be like in the little cardboard container you know it stands right out of it but i don't think anybody really uses these for popcorn ever but yes let me show you the whistle 
This is very appropriate because the Disneyland Railroad is coming into the station right now. And I did, okay, well, first off, I did kind of choose this popcorn stand because I was like, it makes sense, right? I, it feels appropriate, but also I it was the first one when I walked in. So there was also that, but the whistle is this black piece. I like don't, I have, I don't have enough hands. It's this black piece in the front. I'm just gonna pull it right out. It comes like this. And since this is not mine, I will not be blowing on this to show you the glorious whistle sound, but just know there's a glorious whistle sound that happens. Oh, and then I'll show you the, the silly way this looks when you put the popcorn inside of it. There you go, that is it. But anyway, how fun is this? And I think my friend is gonna be pretty happy, but yeah, I didn't have to wait in a really long line either. It was medium long, but it wasn't that bad. So that's gonna do it for the video. And you know, I was going to end it, I typically end it outside in the Esplanade area, but I thought it was just really nice and joyful to end it right here inside of Disneyland. And there's something about the music, the lights, everything is just very nice here. And not that it's not joyful out in the Esplanade, but you know, it's, it's special. There's Disney magic right here. And yes, I had a very fun day. And shockingly, out of all the food items that I tried today, my favorite things were the like the regular things, not the new things. So it wasn't like, you know, Rita's or, you know, all the other stuff. Well, technically Rita's isn't even new. <laughs> they just added a hat. They, you know, she has a hat now. <laughs> but yes, I think that the like the tacos were my favorite and then also that mango nata smoothie. Oh my god, so good. But yes, it was a very fun day today and now now I get to take this wonderful train home with me and I did get the popcorn so yes my friend gets the popcorn bucket but I get the popcorn it's a win-win but a very fun day and I hope you guys had fun coming along with me today thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one <laughs> okay see ya <laughs>